We're here with our Women's Tennis Media Day, starting things off with senior Nina Langenfeld. Nina, you played in a bunch of different slots last year. What are you looking forward to most this year, playing with the team? Um, I'm excited for a new season. I hope we're going to do better than last year. We had a great season last year, but I think we can only improve. And also with switching up the lineup, I think it's always a good strategy to kind of see how we play each play on the other team. So I think it's going to be a great season. Talk about being a senior, one of two seniors on this team alongside Megan Lombard, who we're going to talk to later. What kind of role have you taken with the, the newbies? There's five on this team uh, for the season. Um, yeah, we do have lots of new people. I think it makes us both step up, not just in our tennis game, but also like taking care of them. I would say we're kind of their moms as of right now, but they've already improved a lot and adapted. So yeah, I'm very excited to see them grow on the tennis court and also off the tennis court. What are some personal goals for yourself coming into this year? You had kind of an up and down year. You had some stretches where you're really good and then you kind of suffered some losses in a row too. What, what are some goals for yourself this year? Um, goals for myself are that I'm not having those ups and downs. I just want to be up, um, always give my best and also be kind of a role model for the others. And just that after the season, I can be happy with how I did. The team... Preseason poll just came out. You guys were ranked fifth, but you got one first place vote in there. What do you think, based on what you've seen in the early going of the season with this team, what do you think they can do this year in the CACC? I think we can do really, really good. We got some great freshmen, and I think we could win the CACC this year. Um, the other teams have also lost some good players. We lost some good players as well, but I think we'll have a great season. We're here with Megan Lombard, another senior on the team. Megan, you played a lot of number one doubles last season. This year, probably going to have a new partner for that. What are you looking forward to most with playing with a new doubles partner? Um, I'm just looking forward to the new team dynamic that I'm going to build and being able to learn off of that partner and hopefully the fact that I've been here, hopefully being able to transfer those skills over to my new partner, helping her you know, get used to playing with me and becoming comfortable on the court. But I'm just looking for a new, exciting adventure. Yeah. And kind of talking about that, you have a lot of newbies on this team, and as a senior, what kind of leadership or mentorship role have you taken on with, I believe there's five newbies on this team? Um, well, I just say maybe just helping them out, like making them feel comfortable, because they're all international and they're all new, so I've taken on the role of like maybe getting them comfortable, um, helping them get all their schedules in check, just making sure that everything that they need is done and then basically I've just taken on the role of being their friend, being their mentor, helping them out, giving them advice where they need, uh, where it is needed and maybe pushing them a little where they need to be pushed but also just being that friendly face that they could speak to around campus just because they are new, they don't know a lot of people but just being there to guide them. We were at practice yesterday. This will probably come out later over the weekend. So we were at practice on Wednesday. And what's it been like practicing with this team so far? It seems like the energy was up and stuff. But what's it been like, the dynamic at practice? And how, how has the team looked in general? Very exciting. I would say it's a new team. We're all excited to be here, excited to have new girls. We're only two returners. So I'm glad that they came with the new fiery energy. You know, they've left home and they want to be here and they they have proved that over the few weeks that we've been together. And I'm so surprised that the team dynamic has been going so well and that we've been able to mingle and gel so well together. So I'm really excited for this team and what's to come. Preseason poll came out today. If you saw it, they ranked you guys fifth with one first place vote. What do you think, though, this team can do in the CACC this year? I think we can definitely change that narrative. I mean, we are the underdogs. We've always been the underdogs, and I think that with the talent that we have on this team, we'll be able to change that narrative and, you know, we'll be silent and sneaky, you know. <laughs> we get the win under their feet while they, under our feet while they don't even know it. So I'm excited to see what happens. We're here with newcomers Annaline Van Erk and Julie Merlin. Continue with our media day today. Guys, what are some personal goals that you have coming into this year just joining this team? Well, personally, I would like to be the best player I can be and see how well I can adjust to hard work because I've never played in hard work before and see what the season brings us and then, yeah, I'm excited to be in a season for the first time. Uh, for me, it's just to improve my game and yeah, to learn a lot, a lot more that I have been to. 
What has it been like being at Post so far? Have you enjoyed your experience? I know it's only been like a week or so since you guys have moved in, but have you enjoyed it so far being here at Post? It's been a lot, honestly, because we never experienced something like this. It's crazy. But I do enjoy it a lot because um, it's a different culture, but everybody's super nice here and everybody welcomes you and helps you, so that's great. So, yeah, I love it here. Yeah, me too. I love it. Um, the people are very nice. They're, they're yeah, really good uh, for us, and they help us a lot for all of it. And then tell me a little bit about, you know, like what it's been like practicing with this team so far. Have you learned a lot from the, the seniors on this team, Nina and Megan, or are you guys still kind of finding your role with this team? Yeah, we are still fighting our role, but Nina and Megan have helped us so much. They've told us a lot about how the matches are going to go, and it's very different here than back in Europe. So, like, the cheering is all completely new to us. So they've helped us a lot, trying to get our energy up and telling us what we can expect and what the opponent's going to do to, like, get in our, into our heads and stuff like that. So, like, without them, I would be lost, I think. Yeah, the energies are really good. So they, they say to us, yeah, you need to cheer, you, you need to be positive, you can be negative, uh, it's important to play with a team, so it's important to, to feel it. And then, in general, again, you guys are kind of new to this team. Last year, they did pretty well, but some room for improvement. What do you think this team, based on what you've seen in the early going, practicing with Rob Howard and the rest of the team, that they can do this year? Well, I think this team can do a lot this year, especially with Coach Howard. He really knows how to help each person individually, but also as a team. So I think as a team, we still have a long way to go, but I think we can also get really far in the tournaments and in the competition. Yeah, we need to, to improve uh, our doubles because we as freshmen, we didn't play a lot of doubles, so that's very new for us all. So yeah, we, we train a lot and I hope it's going to be okay for, for the season. We're finishing up our media day with head coach of the women's tennis team, Rob Howard, in his 16th year coaching them. Rob, how has this team looked in the early going, and how have the newbies been kind of getting used to being here now that you have five on this roster? Five new recruits is a big number. So they're actually doing really well. Very uncomfortable understanding college tennis still, but they're figuring it out, and they're moving very quickly. So I'm very excited for the season. Megan Lombard and Nina Langenfeld are your two returners. What kind of role have they taken on early on mentoring and leading those, those newbies on the court? It's funny, I've had them for a long period of time. They both have grown up so much and become leaders, and it's helped me a ton. I can't, can't even imagine what they would have been like two years ago trying to do this, but now they're falling into that leadership role very well and the girls are responding really nicely to them. So I'm excited for their season too, because with this new focus on being a leader, they're gonna try a lot harder. So we'll see what we get. Talk a little bit about what goes into preparing for matches on a daily basis and what goes into your practices. We saw a little bit of what you guys were doing earlier this week, but what goes into that to make things really work to be successful on the court? You don't have that much time, but I'll break it down real quick. Tennis is about consistency. Tennis is about pattern tennis and knowing the patterns that you want to do and the patterns that they're doing against you. So the number one focus is be consistent, help them lose, and know your patterns. And then finally, fifth in the preseason poll, one first place vote. What do you think that this team can do in the CACC this year, even though you have five newbies and two returners? I know this team can do very well in this, in this conference. I know that poaching in this conference for as long as I have, I know exactly what we have to do and I know exactly what I have. We can do very well. I don't expect us not to be in the conference tournament and I expect us to do very well in the conference tournament. Regionals is a goal. Head coach Rob Howard, 16th year with the team. Post women's tennis gets underway next week against Assumption before playing against Uville at home at one o'clock next Saturday.